I did not receive any requests this afternoon for any specific questions. So this problem solving video on the second conversions worksheet will um, focus on a few problems I picked out rather than any that were requested. Um, I'm going to start with this first one here, question four, which is asking about a car traveling 70 miles per hour. What speed is that in meters per second? Um, we did one like this with 55 miles per hour in the example. But with this one, I was not giving you any real shortcuts here, even though I gave you one in notes. I was imagining instead that you would take this problem and take 70 miles per hour. This one hour, that one hour would be considered to be exact. And we'll come back though at the end and talk about significant figures. In an earlier problem, I also told you about feet and centimeters and inches. And so, um, what I was expecting you to do with this problem is to practice doing a few more conversions, practice putting a few conversions in a row. And so the 70 miles, we could put one mile on the bottom of our conversion factor and 5,280 feet in the numerator. Our next conversion factor would need to be able to cancel with feet. And what could we go to from feet? Well, we know the conversion for feet to inches, and so we could say one foot and 12 inches. We could also say from inches to centimeters, which was given in an earlier problem as 2.54 centimeters per one inch. Now the question is asking for meters. So in terms of distance, our final conversion would be one meter is 100 centimeters. Now that's great for the distances, but that doesn't really take care of the time at all. So then we would go to the time. We've got the hour there. You could go ahead and put that all together and say that one hour is 3,600 seconds. And if you don't remember that number off the top of your head, you can certainly break it down into two. One hour is 60 minutes times one hour over 60 seconds. I mean one minute over 60 seconds. You would still get the same answer here. Hours in the de denominator will cancel with hours in the numerator. When you plug this all into your calculator as 70 times 5,280 times 12 times 2.54 divided by 100 and divided by 3,600, you get an answer of 31.2928 meters per second because centimeters up here have also canceled out. That obviously looks like way too many significant figures for us to keep. So then the question becomes, what are we limited to? Are we limited to the three from our original speed? Or are we somehow limited somewhere along the way? The 12 inches per one foot only has two, but in the earlier problem, you were also told that this was a, an exact conversion. The feet per mile is also exact. The centimeters per inch also happens to be exact, even though that's kind of a weird decimal that is actually an exact conversion. And the, and the meters to centimeters, of course, is an SI conversion, which is exact and hours to seconds is also considered to be an SI conversion, which is exact. So instead of 31.2928, this becomes 31.3 meters per second. Problem six is a temperature question, and so this is going to involve addition. And yes, we do need to think about significant figures here. So we have 100.25 degrees Celsius. And we're going to add 273.15 to get to Kelvin. When we add that, we get exactly 373.40. Notice that both numbers are precise to the hundredths place. So our answer should also go to the hundredths place. So we can't just drop that zero and say 373.4. We have to keep 373.40 and the units are simply Kelvin with no degree symbol. 
What about with 37 degrees Celsius? When we have 37 degrees Celsius close to body temperature, we actually did this as an example in the notes, and we add 273.15 to that, we would get 310.15. We're precise to the hundredth place in our conversion for Kelvin, but we're only precise to the ones place in our measurement of the 37 degrees Celsius. So this would become 310 Kelvin. How do we signify that zero is significant? Well, this now is a situation where we might want to say 3.1 times 10 to the second Kelvin. That's still kind of small. We really only do things that are a thousand or larger in scientific notation. So you could do 310 with the decimal there, Kelvin or 310 with a bar over the zero Kelvin. 25.0 degrees Celsius plus 273.15, no degrees there, gets us to 298.15. The 25.0 is precise to the tenths. Our conversion is still precise to the hundredths but we can only keep to the tenths place because of the 25.0. This is exactly five here, so which way does this, does this number round? It rounds to the even number. Is one even? No, it's odd. So this becomes 298.2 Kelvin. Finally, 27.1 degrees Celsius plus 273.15, no degrees, I don't know why I'm doing that, gives us 300.25 Kelvin. Again, we're only precise to the tenth place, so really the only difference between these two is that we already have the even number and this becomes 300.2 Kelvin.